Um, so hi everyone, my name is Pakawat Tui and I'm a um, PhD student at the University of Sheffield from the United Kingdom. And the topic I'll be talking today is about special research and ecosystem services of urban trees in the tropical megacity. So why face growing interest to improve the qualities of urban environments by the nature-based solutions, such as the creating and retaining of urban green space that including urban forest and so there are several keys to provide these uh, to be effective green space plannings and management. And here we focus on um, the biodiversity and ecosystem services of urban trees as a key element that this means quality of the urban green spaces and assess their patterns along the gradients of urbanization intensity. So um, just to bank up on uh, Asia capital cities and the only mega city in Thailand provides such a good example of the rapidly urbanizing tropical cities in Southeast Asia as the populations in urban areas has grown rapidly, especially in the first 20 years of the 21st century. So here we survey 150 of um, sampling grid sales randomly selected in from each of 10 levels of percentage of green area cover. Um, and we conduct three surveys in two locations, each grid sales, so one at the center of a randomly selected grid sales, so namely randomized point, and another one at the largest patch of trees, namely the, the woodland point. Um, so from here, we record um, 162 tree species, so the mangoes are the commonest species at the randomized point, and the white leaf trees was the commonest species at the woodland plots. Uh, so here, tree speciousness was not associated with urbanization intensity at the randomized plot, um, but it's surprisingly slightly increased with increasing urbanization intensity at the, the woodland point. We then used these data that collected from field to explore four of our focal ecosystem services of urban trees, which including the uh, uh, carbon storage and human food production potential, which is defined as biomass of species that lived by Thailand Department of Agricultural Extension and the biodiversity support, which um, trees support urban biodiversity in many ways. Um, in these studies, we then focused on just the species that provide food for um, birds. And finally, the economic values, which is evaluated based on Thailand ministerial declarations that allow the use of trees as a valid collateral to secure financial loans for people. Um, so obviously carbon storage at the woodland site is higher than those in the randomized one, but we found no significant association between carbon storage in either location with urbanization intensity, which this indicated that the land balance approach to uh, highly urbanized locations in Bangkok City did not adversely influence carbon storage potential of urban trees. For human food production potential in both locations was mainly contributed by uh, coconut farming, while the, the result from the uh, randomized point indicated a significant decline to a highly urbanized site. But uh, human food production in the woodland sites can still maintain along the urbanization gradients, which indicate that um, woodland retention may provide a mitigation for urbanization impacts on food productions of urban trees. And for biodiversity support, which is defined as biomass of trees providing fruit for uh, birds, was mainly contributed by weaving fig trees. And these biodiversity support in the Renmite site is, uh, appeared to be maintained along the urbanization gradients and surprisingly increased towards uh, highly urbanized locations in the woodland sampling site. And the similar pattern is also found with the economic values of urban trees, in which it was mainly contributed by a rain trees, which is an exotic species here. Um, these patterns indicate that intensely of nice land can still maintain deep focal ecosystem services of urban trees. And um, retaining wooded patch in highly urbanized location can also enhance some of these ecosystem services, which is contrasted with several other studies that typically um, reported declines of ecosystem services with increasing urbanization intensity. But um, when looking into the relationships between spatial research and ecosystem services, um, 
apart from the fairly strong positive codetic relationships between carbon storage and tree species research at the randomized site, um, which is not surprising that a high number of uh, species typically reflect the high abundance of trees fields and therefore their biomass and carbon storage potential. Um, other ecosystem services provisions from urban trees are not really strongly positively associated with um, tree species richness, indicating the hotspot for tree biodiversity and ecosystem service provisionings are typically in different locations. And so managing or designing for one of these attributes will not automatically benefit one other. So um, one of the key explanations here may be due to the functional traits of each tree species and nearly half of these species uh, only contribute to carbon storage, but not the uh, other focal ecosystem services here. And only two species contribute to all of these focal ecosystem services. And moreover, that the um, they, there is considerable proportions of species contribute to um, economic benefits, but not other ecosystem services. And therefore, um, tree planting and protection benefit as a result of these Thai government trees collateral schemes may not highly um, benefit other ecosystem services unless there's a revisions of the eligible species based on their um, functional traits. So these results underscore the importance of balancing ecosystem service provisionings and biodiversity protections as a promoting biodiversity will not always enhance ecosystem services and on the other hand, managing for ecosystem services based on only a small numbers of species who increase the um, vulnerabilities of urban forests uh, and uh, ecosystem services as well to the future climatic instability. So in a nutshell here, we conclude that the intensely urban development can still maintain tree species and some of the associated ecosystem services. And the result from the woodland sampling site indicates that there is considerable potential for woodland retentions as a nature-based solution to enhance biodiversity and ecosystem services of urban trees and even in the highly urbanized locations. And the use of tree economic values as collateral for um, securing financial loans uh, due to the Thai government uh, policy may facilitate the um, uh, tree protections and increase future tree plantings, but there is a need to rewrite the set of eligible species to enhance these values um, to de deliver other um, biodiversity and ecosystem service goals as well. And finally, the biodiversity and ecosystem service of when trees in Bangkok were not strongly positively associated with each other. And this does complicate the urban planning decisions and underlie the need to balance these attributes when designing and managing future urban forests. And, Thank you very much.